This episode of Bryce and Metcalf is called Clocks. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Breakfast will be done in a, in a minute. Go brush your teeth. Okay, Mama. Done brushing my teeth. Oh! Gears and pancakes. Thank you, Mom. My favorite. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 Okay, Mama. Hey! Hey, Coco. Hello. What are you both doing out here? Nothing. We're just walking to school like we always do every morning. But, hey, you want to walk with me? Follow the leader, follow the leader. Hello, teacher. Hello, I am your substitute. Mr. Clock got sick again. My name is Mr. Grandfather Clock. Well, I just an old clock, but that doesn't mean I'm a good teacher. I've always been a good teacher. Right, kids? Right. I remember being in your class when I was in kindergarten. No, I was. No, me. Oh, right, you were both in the same class. <laughs> okay, class time, everybody. So, how does a clock work? Oh, oh, me, me, me. It uses gears to run the hands. Correct. These are the two questions for both last. How does a clock know what time it is? It, um, um, it uses numbers. Correct, Hornet. Okay, zigzag. Answer this question right. Why do some clocks have pendulums? Oh, I know this one. To regulate the speed. Correct. Class is over. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Hi, Mommy. I did great in school today. Oh, then I'm going to get you a balloon. Ta-da. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. And that was the story of the little clock. The end.